With this, you do get your USB. <laughs> Every single time. What's going on, you guys? My name is Andy, and like I said, we're gonna be talking about the brand new Google Pixel 6a. This is Google Pixel 6 budget version. This phone right here is only $450. That's it. Super, super cheap. This is the first time I'm opening up this phone because honestly, I, I wanted to open it to kind of like share my first time impression with you guys and not just use it for a while. But, but I am gonna use it for a while and then I'll come back and review some more. But right now, we're just gonna test out, you know, the, this first impression and what I really think. Because I have used the Pixel 6 before and that's a great phone. How does this even stack up? Okay, this also has the Tensor chip inside as well. So that's the new chip that Google Pixel has. With this, you do get your USB. <laughs> Every single time. It comes with these wires, which is nice to have. I mean, USB type C to USB type C, it's always SD card slot remover. You got manuals here. They have this little paper cover right now. So that's the power button right here. The volume button's the same spot. And then this is where the SD card is, okay? You, it, that just never gets old. This right here is the two-tone charcoal. So it's lighter gray down there and a little dark charcoal right there. And then of course the camera bump right there. It's actually not as big. Actually, it's really small compared to the Google Pixel 6. It's the Google Pixel 6 Pro and the 6. Remember how big it was? that you can kind of almost hold your phone with like, kind of like putting your finger underneath it. You can't really do that with this. I love the fact that it hides it a little bit more, which is pretty awesome. So I like that. And it doesn't have the glass back. It is plastic. With this, it, it charges USB type C. You know, the phone nowadays charges USB type C, so that has that. Still can't wait for Apple to get theirs. Anyway, and there's no more headphone jack. Not like the last year model of the Google Pixel 5a. And two speakers right there. Two cameras too, if you guys don't know. It has a regular one and an ultra wide one, which is both 12 megapixels. And, and if you guys don't know, the camera in this is like the camera in the old Google Pixel, like the Google Pixel 5, the Google Pixel 4. It's amazing, and remember how amazing it used to be of being like the best camera phone out there? Well, they put it back, so definitely enjoy that. You know that a picture is gonna come out really nice. Some of you guys might not like this part. It doesn't have wireless charging. Personally, I don't use wireless charging that much. I, I honestly just, on my daily life, like I don't put my phone on any wireless charging. I've always plugged it in, so. That isn't a deal breaker for me, but for some of you guys, it doesn't have wireless charging. So that might suck for some of you guys. The display is 6.1 inch and it has 60 Hertz. If you guys don't already use phones that has 120 Hertz, you probably won't even notice the difference. 120 Hertz basically just makes like the scrolling through the apps and searching through the web, reading and stuff like that super smooth. But with this, it's only 60 Hertz, which doesn't mean it's bad. Like I said, it's it's still pretty good. It's just better for the battery life. And speaking of battery life, it's supposed to be really good as well. I don't know it firsthand, so I might come back and correct myself on that. But right now, it it's supposed to be pretty good. And it's so weird using a small phone again. It's been a while since I've used a small phone. There are other phone companies that basically has budget phone as well. And yes, you can definitely use that. But the benefit of this is that it already has Google softwares in here. So like if you're big on Google softwares, then you're definitely gonna love this phone because you don't have to go on the app stores and download all the Google stuff. It's already in this phone and you know it's super compatible with it. There are two things that I really love about Google phones that only they do so well. And the first one is cost screening. Cost screening is clutch like, I love the fact that if I get an unknown number, I can just hit call screen and let them talk to that person who's calling me. Like I don't, I get a bunch of numbers that I don't even know who they are. I never, rec I don't know, I just don't recognize it. 
The second thing is the app recorder. If you guys haven't used this app yet, this is like Google's best app, I believe. You just talk to it and it transcripts everything you're saying. So you can copy paste the entire paragraph or entire segment that you're talking about and then post that. So let's say if you're writing a comment or if you're making a post, just talk to it and then copy paste that transcript and then put it on your website. Or if you're making a description of your Instagram post or your YouTube video, talk to your phone, what you wanna say, edit that transcript if you want to and copy paste the whole thing and then put it inside the description. That's how easy it is. No more typing it all out. And because it has Google Assistant, it's so accurate. Like, you know for sure that it's gonna get it right. I've never used anything better than Google Assistant. It's just, it just works. All right, you guys, I'm literally just talking about the apps on this phone and things that I'm super excited about but I really haven't used this phone enough to tell you guys how amazing it is. I just know that for 450, this is a great price for what you get here. 12 megapixel camera, one regular, one ultra wide, you got 60 gigahertz, and you have an amazing battery that will last a long time, pretty much all day. That's, that's the main thing, right? Because we all charge our phone at night, and if it lasts all day, we're all happy. The fact that it just has a 6.1 inch screen, it has a fingerprints in screen reader, and it's a Google phone. What more can you ask? All right, you guys, stay tuned for a full reveal video on this phone. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to this channel. And if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button and come back and check the full review of the Google Pixel 6. My name is Andy. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.